Good evening, everyone. Making our video number seven. All right. Tonight's video is going to be a little bit of everything. So we are going to use long body bars, um, and we are going to use weights, medium-sized weights, anything three, five, eight pounders, uh, whatever you feel comfortable using, where you can do some repetition. Um, if you have a couple weights, maybe three and eights or three and fives, take both out. If you get tired with one, you can always use the other one, okay? Don't worry if you don't have the materials because I'm going to show you alternatives that you can use that are right in your home, okay? We're trying to make everybody healthy through this pandemic. So if there's something that you like, something that you don't like, let me know if there's something that I could help you with. I am willing to do that, okay? Just trying to stay healthy, trying to stay calm, and just moving along. I know through all of this, we're doing a lot of sitting, a lot of watching TV, maybe sitting and reading, okay? A lot of in-house things where there's not much movement. We need to keep moving. We need to keep our minds moving. So join me in this next video. Okay, and let's get healthy together. All right, let's get started. You know I like to warm up before we get into any cardio, any strength training. So we're just gonna warm up our muscles. You can bring your hands on your hips if you like and press. I think I've got my lighting down path. I got my music down forward so I don't feel like I'm talking over the music. Okay? And just trying to make it better and more interesting for all of you. Okay? Take the arms and reach. Out, out, out. Bringing the elbows right back. So far back that you can feel it in your biceps, warming up. You can feel it going across your chest. Front and back. Few more right here. Let the arms go. Now let's bring the legs to the back. Looks like this. And bring the elbows back. Just from over your head, pressing back. Tighten up your stomach muscles. And try to keep those stomach muscles nice and tight. Press, keep the elbows tucked in. And press. Let the arms go. And take your legs from the center and reach out. Warming up the inside, the outside of your hip area, the inner legs, the upper. Ready? Let's warm up the arms right here. Pick up those elbows, side to side. Warm your body, all up. That's it. Keep it going. Let the arms go and just walk with the legs. Okay? Right here, let's go. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Raise the arm. Touch. Touch, one, two, three, reach, one, two, three, reach, two, three, reach, up, get ready, because we're going to do some traveling. We're going to travel those three to the front and three back. It's going to look like this. One, two, three, touch, one, two, three, touch, two, three, touch, one, two, three, touch, two, three, touch, one, two, three, touch. Don't worry if you get mixed up. You can hold it in one spot. Don't worry about the arms. 
If you get all muddled up, let the arms go. Get your legs moving. And then when you feel comfortable, add the arms. Three, touch. Two, three, touch. Down low, right here. Up tall to the back. Down low, right here. Up tall to the back. Down low, right here. Up tall to the back. Reach the arms. Up tall to the back. Down low to the front. Tall to the back. Low to the front. Keep it going. There we go. Keep it going. Touch. One, two, three. Touch. Down low. Right here. Up tall. Right here. Keep it going. Last four. There's one. There's two. There's three. And march it out right here. Make sure you have some water handy or something to drink. Okay? Bring those legs apart. Tap right here and roll those shoulders to the back. My whole body is moving. I'm not locking my knees. My knees are nice and soft, but my shoulders are way back. Therefore, tucking my abdominals in nice and tight. Round the arms. It's like you're swimming on your back. Round, round, round. Nice big circles right here. Arms are going up over your heads. Shoulders are way back. Keep it going right here. I'm just going to turn to the side to show you what exactly what it looks like. So right here, back. My feet are lifting up off the floor. My shoulders are way back. I have a nice bend in my knees right here, and my abs are tucked in nice and tight. Okay? And come on up. Keep those legs apart. And feet are going to be flat now. Point the toes out. Make sure that your knees are on the outside of your hips. Okay, and then one good way to figure that out is if you bring your palms in this position and on your hip bones, okay, press the palms. If you can come straight down and your knees are on the outside of your palms, you're in a good position. If you come down and your palms come right over top of your knees or on the inside of your palms, you're going to be putting too much pressure on the knees. So it's a good way to judge for yourself. Toes are pointed out. Check it out. Yep, I'm good right here. All right? Right here. Press it up. Notice, because my legs are far enough apart, I'm not putting the pressure on my knees. And my knees are staying behind my toes. Now press, 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 press. Don't let your shoulders come down in front like this. Okay? Keep your shoulders back. And it's all in the inner legs, in the hip area, and in that heart muscle. Let's get that heart muscle working right here. A little faster now. Keep your heels in, your toes pointed out. And get it going right here. And up. Are you ready? Let's hold it down right here. And little tiny presses, tiny, tiny presses. Now, if your shoulders are forward like this, okay, bring them back. Abs are tucked in. Make sure you check out the knee situation, making sure that it's in back of your toes. Okay, shoulders are back. It's going to really pull your abdominals in nice and tight and little presses at the bottom. Hold it right here. Lift your heels. Oh, you're going to feel it right here. You're going to feel it right here. And you're even going to feel it in that heart muscle. Big fist right here and pump as you're lifting the heels. Up, 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 and up. Keep it going. Right here. Lift the arms above your heart. Get that heart muscle working. Press, press, up again. 
lift and lift. Woo. Keep it going. Now don't think about how hard it is. Think about how strong you're getting. Okay. Last four. Three. Two. Let the arms go. Come all the way down and all the way up for eight. Seven. Six. And five. Come up for four. Three. Two. And one. Now come down at that halfway point. And little presses right here. Let's go for eight with your feet flat. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pull those legs in and shake it out. Shake it out right here. You got it. That's it. Circle the shoulders. Relax. Let's grab some weights. Okay? So we're going to grab... I have eight pounders going on right now. Okay? I'm going to bring my palms facing the front. I'm going to keep a nice bend in my elbows. Secure my stomach. And pump up. Both arms. Now don't let the arms wander. Don't let them slide back and forth. Keep the elbows directly at your sides as you pump the arms. Keep it going. Now remember, if you don't have weight, no problem at all. Most people nowadays do have some type of weight at home, but if you don't, a can of soup will do in each arm, okay? Whatever you have cans of, you can hold them, right? Now bring it down right here. Palms are facing in, okay? Nice and soft with your knees. Pump the elbows up, up, and up, okay? Keep going here, keep going, because I just want to show you. Now I know, I know, everybody has clothes soap and fabric softener right here, okay? Grab them. They are great weight. Up, up. Okay, if you don't have a big jug, grab a little jug. You can do the same thing right here. Okay. Use whatever you have in your facility, in your house, in your kitchen. Use your imagination. You can do it. Let's go for eight, six, and five. Up for four. Three, two, one more, and put those weights down. Okay, whoo, shake the arms out, right here, right here, okay? On that toe, take it around, around and down, around and down. Keep a nice little bend in the standing leg at the knee, around and down, around and down. Last eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Right here on that toe. Okay? From the back to the front. Around and down. Around and down. All your weight is on the standing leg. Last eight, seven, six, and five, three, two, and one, march it out. I'm going to use my body bar. Okay, if you have a body bar at home, you're going to be right here. You're going to take that body bar right at your side, hold on to it. If you don't have a body bar, I'm sure that you have something in the garage, something tall to hold on to. Okay, you're going to take the outside leg. Now I'm standing right beside. I can use my hands on my hips for a little bit of support. I'm going to take that outside leg, lift it, my knee up, and bring it back. Up and back. Up and back. Now keep it going right here. Keep it going right here. Okay? I'm just going to show you an alternative. Keep lifting that knee. Up in my chair. Right here. I can hold on to my chair. Right here, I'm even with the chair, nice and strong. I'm not putting all my weight into the chair. I'm lifting up, pressing back. Same thing. 
Now kick that leg. Kick that leg. Keep your position. Stay balanced. Last eight right here. Seven, six, and five. Come up for four, three, two, one more. Woo. That's it. Keep going. Okay. Change sides. Whether you're using the body bar, okay, or a chair, or whatever you have around your toes. Bend in my knees. Shoulders and hips are even. It's the outside leg I'm working. I'm lifting that knee in towards my chest, and then I'm pushing it back. I'm not letting that front knee go past my toes. Okay? I'm really reaching back, up and back, up and back, up and back. Keep it going. Keep it going. Add a kick. Add a kick if you can. Now remember, you don't have to kick out. You can just lift your knee. Your choice. The choice is yours. Last knee right here. Seven, six. Try not to lean into the chair or your body bar. One more. And march it out. Okay. And just put that aside. Put that right aside. We'll use it again. Right. You don't need anything right here. Okay. Arms are extended. Even with the shoulders. You can keep your feet flat. Tuck this in. Keep it tight, but remember you're not holding your breath. Arms right here. A little bend in the elbows. Circle right from the shoulders. Keep it going right here. Around and around. When you circle around, feel it in your shoulder blades. Feel it working right down the arms. Right here. Now let's do the same thing to the back. Around and around. Yeah, you got it. Keep going. How's your abs? Are they tucked in? How's the elbows? Are they still bent? How's your arms? Are they down here? Lift them up. Hold it right here. Make a fist. Palms making, facing the front. Take your front and side. Front and side. Oh, feel it in your biceps. Feel it in the whole head of your shoulders. Feel it in your upper back. Press, 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 press. Again. Feel it going right across your chest. Last four out. Three, two. Hold it here. Bend at the elbows. My elbows and my shoulders are even. I'm bringing it right in front. I'm going to touch my elbows. Touch my palms. And I'm coming side and touch. Side and tap. Tap if you can. Tap if you can. Try not to hold your breath. Still have that little bend in your knees. And your abs are still tucked in nice and tight. Your elbows and your shoulders are even. Are you ready for a little bit more oomph? Hold it right here. Grab your palms. And press right here. Oh, you're going to feel it in your biceps. Yell. Scream. Do whatever you have to. You're in your own house. You're in your own private space. You're in your own safe place. Hold it. Let's go in, out and in for four. For three. For two. Now hold the in and pulse for four. Three. Two. One. In and out. Out for one. Two, three, and four. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. Do it again. One, two, three. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. One more time. Out and in. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Let it go down. Oh, feel it through here. Feel it through here. Feel it in your back. Oh, shake that out. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it out. March right here. Ready? Run in one spot. 
Now your feet barely are coming up off the floor. You can keep the ball of your feet on the floor and just lift up your heels if you like. Okay? You don't have to jump. Okay? I don't know if you have issues with your knees, if you have any other issues inside of you. Okay, so work at your own pace. That's got to be a must. Okay? So jog. Jog. Get the arms going around and around. Notice my abs are tucked in. Around and around. Around and around. Jog in one spot. Barely lifting your feet up off the ground. Now instead of having the arms go around and around, push them out. Notice my elbows and my palms are staying even. Elbows and palms are even. Keep the feet flat and punch. Lean forward. Punch, 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 punch. Now don't let your arms come up like this. Punching forward like this. Elbows and palms are even. So you're going front and back. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Feel everything shaking. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Jog. Shake it. Jog. Keep it going right here. Keep it going. Keep it going. Again. And again. Go, go, go. You're leaning forward just slightly. Keep your feet flat. Get your arms going a little faster. Fast, 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 fast. Feel it in your biceps. Feel it in the back of the arms. Ready? And loosen it up. Whew. Okay. That's it. Grab your chair or grab your body bar. One or the other. Okay. Place it right here. Legs are wide. Either holding on to the chair or holding on to that body bar. Okay. From here, if you're holding on to a body bar, you're going to bring it side and front. Side and front. Side. If you're holding on to the chair, you're going to bring that arm out. Bring it out, holding on to the chair. And really press way back, way back. Now don't let your whole body come back. Right from the hips, right from here up. Feel it in your obliques. Press, press, press. If you're using a body bar, you can bring that body bar out to the side, out to the side. Press and press. Either the chair or the body bar, your choice. Press and press. Do it again. Last four. Three, two, one more. And let that go. Okay? If you need to get something to drink, feel free. Grab something to drink any time you get thirsty on your own. Okay? Grab that something to drink. Okay? Let's grab our weights. Right? Weights. Or your laundry detergent. Okay? Right here. Elbows out. Even with the shoulders. Right here. Pick it up right there. Okay? Okay? Earlier we were doing this. Okay? Now that our elbows are just out to the side, just a bit, and picking it up from here. Lift, lift. So you feel it more in the triceps here, in the back of the arms. Not so much in the biceps, but the back of the arms, okay? Now you don't wanna do this, okay? You don't wanna be doing this. You want those palms to stay down. You want the elbows out to the side and pick up there so that you feel it directly in here. Okay, the back of the arms. I'm here, my arms are extended, and I'm picking it up here. I want my elbows to go up higher than my shoulders so that I feel it in the back of the arms here. Okay, that's a lot of our problem area. Right there, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, keep going, keep going. Okay, out to the side right here, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put that weight down. Whew. 
Shake that baby out. Okay? Shake that baby out. Right here. Right here. Okay? Bring that leg way to the back. Abs are tucked in. Reach the arms. Make a fist. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Right here. Lift. We're going for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Do it again. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come on up. You should have felt that in your standing leg. Woo! Right in here. Right in here. And right in here. Here's the thing. We're going to change sides. Bring that leg way back. Can you see where my front leg is? I'm not going to let that knee rock like so. I'm going to keep the knee and the heel even. I'm on the ball of my foot. I'm going to pull my arms back. Tuck my abs in. Up, 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 up. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Do it again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Feel that top of the legs, all in here, all in here, and all in here. Circle the shoulders, around and around. Grab something to drink if you need to. Okay, right here. Let's grab our weights. Now, don't forget, you don't always have to use the heavy weights. Okay, take one weight and just let it rest right here. Now take the opposite weight right in the center, your center line right here. Now bring that shoulder over here. So it looks like this. Okay, but I'm right in the center. Okay, I want to round. I want to keep the weight and my arms just even with my knees. Okay, like I don't want the weight to go all the way around, all the way out. I want you to have more control and use that whole arm right from the shoulder so that you can feel it in your upper back, around and around, around and around. Oh, keep it going. Now hold it right here and pump up right here for eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, and two, one more. Oh, feel that working. So it's here. Abs are tucked in. We're going to use the opposite arm now. We're going to bring that arm right center, but not just the arm. The shoulder comes over also. So you're right here, right in your center line, little bend in the elbows, and around, around. Just one direction will do. But feel that coming right from the shoulders. So you really might have to extend that arm out in front of you a little bit further. Okay? Extend it out. But don't lock the elbow and keep the weight okay, on the inside of the knees. Right here. Keep it going. Keep it going. Work it right here. You might have to extend out. Hold it in the center. Let's come up for eight. Hammer curls right here. Two and three. I've sucked in. And five, six, seven. Just one more. Oh, hold it right here. Widen up the legs. Bring the heels in. Bring your shoulders back. Don't do anything with your weight, but just press down and up. Down and up in a nice squat position. As you press down, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, up, down, power up, power up, lift up high, and we're just going for eight right here, 
seven, and six, five, four, three, last two, just one more, and take that weight and just place it down. If you grab something to drink, okay, feel free. Just join in when you're ready. If you need to take a break, if your heart is pounding, okay, the one thing that you should not do, all right, and I'll always tell you, no, you shouldn't do this, which is not too often, but the one thing, if your heart rate is just pounding right now, don't stop abruptly like this and drink some water like this, okay? Keep your body moving gently. If you stop abruptly, have something to drink, you're gonna find your body getting lightheaded. You might need to sit down, okay? It's called pooling of the blood, all right? Your blood, you've been going, moving around briskly, 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 and then all of a sudden you stop, and your blood is saying, oh, I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go. Let's go right up to the brain and pump that brain, and let's just make her or him a little dizzy, okay? So you just want to bring that heart rate down gently. That's the best way I can explain it in plain English. All right? Okay, right here. Press, 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 press. A little higher if you want. Okay? It's up to you. Work at your own pace, remember. Don't give up because you feel that you have to do every single thing the way it's being done. Okay? If you can just do this, that's fine. If you can do this and every once in a while add some arms, that's fine also. One thing I want to tell you, whatever you're doing, get out of your comfort zone. Safely. Doesn't mean that you have to work till you, you feel like you're going to puke. It doesn't mean that you have to work where you cannot even speak. It does mean that if you want to make changes, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to feel that heartbeat. Faster. Okay, feel it going. Get out of that comfort zone. Right here. Press, 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 press. Press the elbows back. Back, 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 back. Keep it going. Keep it going. Wherever you're at. Keep the arms going right here. Be your flat. Hold it here. Pump it back. Pump it back. Pump it back. Pump it back. Pay attention to this move. Pumping it back. We're going to do it again with some weights. We're not going to go so fast. We're going to slow the movement down. But we're really going to pick up the arms and back so that you feel it again in the triceps, okay? So let's relax. Get our weights one more time. Palms are in this position right here. Pump back. Pump back. Pump back. Just back far enough, far enough that you can feel it in your triceps. The back of the arms above the elbows. Pump. 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 And again, let's do this for eight. We're almost done the cardio portion. Six, five, and four, three, two, one more. Woo! Let that weight go. Grab your chair or your body bar. Okay? Right here. Grab that chair. Now this time, Take the inside leg, inside leg. Take that inside leg up and pulse right here. Okay, you're gonna hold on to either the body bar 
or the chair, take the opposite arm and pump right here. Press, pop, 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 pop. Try to get that knee up above the heart. Up, 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 up. Press, 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 press. A little bend in that standing leg at the knee. Press for four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg down. Change sides right here. Either the body bar. It's the inside leg. Now I can pretend I'm holding either the body bar or the chair right here. Lift it here. Now let's take the, that arm up right away. A little bend in your knee. Just start off with the leg at the knee, pumping up. Pop, pop, pop. Then add the arms. Pop, pop, pop. Pop right here. Do it again. Pop, 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 pop. That's it, keep it going, keep it going, press, 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 last four, three, two, and one, let it go, Ooh, let that all go, relax, I'm just going to put my chair aside right here, I'm going to pull out my mat, okay, you can have a beach towel, you can have your doormat, whatever you feel comfortable, a couple towels, um, a blanket, whatever you feel comfortable laying on, okay? We're gonna get into some strength training. On the floor, you're gonna need some weights, okay, if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, you don't need your body bar, okay? Weights will do for tonight. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna slow down the music and I'm gonna pull my mat forward. Pull my mat forward. I'm gonna make sure that my weights are accessible. I'm gonna change the music here. I wanna make sure that I have my water beside me. Relax here. Relax right here. And I'm going to start off actually on my knees, the palms of my hands, or on my elbows right here. So either or, all right? Either here or here. I'm going to cross my feet at the end, okay? I'm going to, my palms are going to be on the outside of my shoulders, all right? So I want to make them on the outside, and I want to bend in my elbows, okay? So if I'm here on the outside of my shoulders, and I want to press down with my whole body and come up. So it's this motion right here if you're on your elbows. My whole body is doing this push-up. I don't want to let my back arch like this. I want my hips rolled in so I get an abdominal workout here also. So if you're in this position, that's where you're going to be. If you're on your palms, we're going to do the same thing using your whole body into that push-up position. Don't worry about how low you're coming down. Just making sure that you're moving your whole body in one motion. Pressing and pushing. Just four more if you can. Three, two, one more if you can. And then reach back and stretch. Stretch the arms. Stretch the legs. Roll the hips in. And come on up. 
Hold it right here again, okay? Either on the elbows or on your palms. Roll those hips in and let's do four more. Down for one, two, three, and four. Reach back and stretch. Right back. Come on up one more time. Roll those hips in. Ready? Four, three, two, one more. Roll yourself, reach all the way back. Come on up on your palms again. Grab one of your weights. Place it in the back of your knee. Flex that toe in, lift up that heel, and lift right here. Lift. And up, and up, and roll. Not too fast now. Keep it all under control. Just lifting, keeping it going. Roll those hips in, tuck your abs in nice and tight. Four more. And three. Last two. One more. Bring it down. Now remember, you don't have to use the weights here. If you're not using the weights, okay, you're here, you're here. Flex that toe in. I'll show you on this leg again. Flex that toe in, okay? Squeeze up a little higher and then press down strong. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And come down strong. Okay? Keep it tucked in tight. Keep that tension. Tighten this, these muscles here, all the way up, all the way down, and then release. So, toes flexed in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now release. Feel the difference there. Make it hard to go up. Fight against your own body. One more, and release. Let that weight go. Push back and stretch and reach. Hold that stretch, hold that reach right there. Roll yourselves right around, flat on your back. If you're using the weight, grab your weights. Elbows are going to be tucked right into your side. Roll your hips in. Feel your belly button pressing right down into the mat. Push the arms up. Okay? Notice my palms are even with my shoulders. I'm pushing up from here, from my elbows. To my palms, I'm going to bring my arms on top of my shoulders. Lift up and then press down to my side. So push up. Here. Lift. Release. Push straight up. Elbows into your palms. Touch your shoulders. Come on back up and release. Okay? How's your center core? Press the center of your back down into that mat. That will help you to keep your abdominal muscles nice and tight. Right into the top of your shoulders. Lift up. Come on down. Push. Lift. Press. Last four if you can. Now if the weight is getting too heavy, put it down. And again, use your own body weight as your resistance. Let's do one more. Okay, one more, right here. Up, into your shoulder. Lift the arms, release right here. Put that weight aside. Relax the arms right here. Shake out the fingers. Relax right here. 
Stretch all the way out. Let the arms go. Okay? Roll those hips in. Let's get into some serious abdominal workout right here. All right? Focus. Hips rolled in. Back is flat. Can't fit the palms of your hands in between your back and the mat. Got it? All righty. Hands in the back of your head. Elbows back. Lifting four to the top. Face is facing the ceiling. So it's one. Two. Releasing your breath on the up. And nice and slow. Four. Now come down. Notice my elbows stayed back. My head did not move. But I really protected my neck by keeping my palms in back of my head. So I'm going to lift right here. Hold this lift. I'm going to tilt my chin in just a wee bit. Keeping my elbows back and pulsing forward and back. I'm not coming all the way down. But I'm really making sure my hips are rolled in. And I feel it right under my ribs working straight down my center line. Now I want to hold it right here. I want to make a fist and I want to punch through my legs alternating arms. Punch. Punch. Bring that shoulder over and then it goes in the back of your head to protect your neck. Punch. 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 And punch. And do it again. Feeling it work from the center, working out towards your sides. One more on each side. And then I'm going to hold it right here. Okay. I'm going to take both arms now and punch through the center. Right here. Punch. 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 I'm going to hold this punch. I'm going to reach both arms all the way around, all the way around, in back of my head, bring my head back, and I'm going to pulse right here for four. One, two, three, four. Hold that lift. Tilt my chin in. I want to punch through my legs for four, three, two, one. I'm going to hold it right here. I'm going to punch through my legs with both arms for four. One. Two, three. Now hold it right here. I'm going to make a big arm circle all the way around in back of my head. Elbows are back. And I'm going to pulse right here. Two, three, four. Hold it. Single arms. Punch. Two, three, four. Ready? Both arms. One, two, three, four. Hold it right here. All the way back around. Pulse right here. Four, three, two, one. How's the center of your back? Alternating arms. Two, three, four. Both arms right here. One, two, three, four. Hold it. Slowly. Big arm circle all the way around. One more time. Pulse right here. Two, three. Hold it. Alternate arms. Two, three. And four. Hold it. Both arms. One, two, three, four. Hold it right here. Big arm circle. Nice and slow. Behind your head. And release down. Whew. Feeling that all through the center. Feeling that working into your obliques. Oh. Really, really focusing on your core right in here. Okay, so we worked it from our upper body. Now let's work our core from our lower body. Okay, roll those hips in, hands behind your head, but just relaxing your head. Bring the knees into your chest. Flex the toes in. Lift your head just slightly up off the mat, just about a fist. And then just protect your neck by having your head 
rest into your palms. Okay, so I can feel the center of my back pressing down. My toes are flexed in. I'm going to reach out and bring it in. Push it out. Notice I have a nice bend in my knees. Pressing out and in. Pushing out and in. Reach out and in. Do it again. Push and in. Reach and in. Press. Oh, feel this right down your center line. Right smack, right down straight. Bring the knees back into your chest. How's your elbows? Are they up here where you're pulling on your spine and putting less pressure on your muscles in your center? Or are they back and really focusing all the attention, giving all the attention right in here? Okay, keep those elbows back. Take one leg at a time, press it out, in, out, in, press, in, press. Now focus and slowly bring your knees so that they're even with your hips, so that they're square and do the same movement, side and side. Feel that working right around your belly button, working down low, working from side to side. So let's go a single right here, a single right here. Now both legs for two. Out, in, out, in. Not too fast. Single right here, single right here. Both legs out for two. One and two. Do it again. Single right here, single right here, both legs out for two, and again, keep the elbows back, way back with the elbows, but protect your head, protect your neck, out right here, out right here, two right here, one, and two, one more time, single out. Single out, both legs out for two. Bring your knees into your chest, bring your head down. Take a nice deep breath in and sway side to side. Look at your whole core. All through, up and down, down low, under your belly button which is a lot of our problem area, working our obliques, working right into our hip area. Let's bring the legs down. Sway again, side to side. Okay. And roll those hips in. Extend one leg out, point that toe. Reach the opposite arm out. And you can bring the palm right down to your side right here because you're going to all in one motion. We're going to work one side for eight. We're not going to go really fast and we're not going to stretch really high up so that we strain our neck muscles. We're just going to meet in the center and back down. Meet in the center. Back down. Nice and slow. Not too fast. Press. Four more on the side. One. And two. Three. One more right here. And bring it all down. Oh, feel that working. Stretch out the opposite leg. Bring the arm up over your head. Really reach. Point that toe. Ready? For eight. Lift. Meet in the center. Meet in the center. Four more. Nice and slow. And two. Keep those abs tucked in. Three. Just one more. Give it all you got. And let it go. Sway side to side. Let your head go side to side also. Relax your neck. Bring the soles of your feet together. 
right here. Palms down towards your hips. Roll the hips in and lift just a wee bit up off that mat. And pulse right here. Feel that in your glutes. Feel that on the inside of your legs. Just little presses, little pulses right here for eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two. Now hold the lift, relax your knees, and hold that stretch. Now if you need a little support, that's fine. Make a fist and just let your butt relax into your fist and stretch the inside of your legs and hold that stretch right here. Make sure that your hips are rolled in. Pick your hips up, relax your glutes down. Now slowly pick yourself up because you're going to feel it right around the groin area working, stretching the whole inside of your legs right here. Take one leg and stretch it out. Circle at the toe. Really reach. Now flex the toe in. Keep that foot just up off the mat so that you can stretch right from your calf muscle. If you remember, at the beginning of the workout, we were lifting our heels up and down. So we want to make sure that we stretch the calf. And then bring that leg down, bend it again, stretch out the opposite leg. First of all, hold that leg out. Now flex the toe in so that you feel that calf muscle. Keep it up off the floor just a wee bit. Reach and stretch that heel out. Release. Bend that knee. And roll yourself up into a sitting position, nice and slow. Don't come up too fast. Okay, right here. Relax your legs wherever you feel comfortable. If they're crossed over, that's fine. If they're stretched out in front of you, like so, that's fine. Keep a little bend right here wherever you feel comfortable with your lower legs. Okay, so great. Now take it right from your hips and lean forward. Stretch that lower back going right across, side to side. Okay, stretch it out right there. And hold that stretch right there. Hold it. Take the arms and stretch right there also. A little further, stretch and reach. Let the palms go. Come on up and sway from your hips. Oh, feel that right from that hip bone working right up the side, your obliques right here, the front and the back. Now how about if we tuck our stomach muscles in and just feel your whole spine lifting. Not too fast, nice and easy, nice and slow. Now hold it to one side and reach the arms up. Don't let the opposite side of that hip lift or your leg lift. Keep it down. Stretch. Reach. Hold it. Bring it down. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Stretch. Reach. Even feel it in the back of the arms right here. Reach and hold that stretch. Hold it right there. Come on, right back down center. Circle the shoulders towards the back. And now circle the shoulders towards the front, just really loosening up. And bring the arms out to the side with your palms lifted. Okay? Good posture. Abs are tucked in, shoulders are back, but now relax them. Palms right here. Let's take a nice deep breath in. And release on the out. Let's 
Do one more like that. Nice deep breath in. And release heavy out. Relax right here and let your head just come forward. Feel the stretch in both sides of your neck. And just hold that reach, hold that stretch. And as you're holding this stretch right here, I'll just give you one thought to take with you. Through all this pandemic, all the craziness that's going on throughout the world, be the change that you want to see in the world. Again. You be the change that you want to see in the world. And with that, just roll yourself up. Relax. Release. And thanks for joining number seven. I hope you're enjoying them. Please, I look for any constructive criticism. If there's something that you want to work more on, let me know, I'll put it together so that we all stay healthy, not only for ourselves, but for our families also. Thanks for being with me for one hour. Miss you guys so much. See you again.